Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? It appears to be Green Room 136 week for me because I just wrapped up my review on the Rainmaker wildcard bag and I received another bag from Patrick, which includes a Green Room 136 Metro Monger, an EDC Sidekeep, and I believe the size large kit pouch. And I also he included the older style strap for the Metro Monger because this has a newer style quick release strap. So I'm going to uh, go over these quite quickly and uh, give you my first impressions. I was so excited to get these two items that honestly, I couldn't wait. I'm sorry I didn't unbox this or open the bag on camera. I just wanted to get these things out and, and see them and play with them because this is the new newly redesigned Sidekeep and uh, the Metromonger and the Sidekeep are actually the two coolest bags that uh, I really, really fell in love with when I found Green Room. So I, I just couldn't wait. So I do apologize. So let's get into our first impressions. We're going to go ahead and start with the kit pouch. And I'm going to draw some comparisons between this and the Tenbob BYOB9 because that's what I'm currently using. First off, this is uh, externally, it looks pretty much identical. So the styling is really good. It, uh, it has two grab handles on either side, which the Tenbot does not have, but it does also have a little pocket on either side and a pocket in the front, as well as a bigger zipper pocket in the back. It's smaller in size, but again, this is the size small, and I believe they make three sizes of the kit pouch. I believe Patrick sent me this because it fits inside the Metromonger very nicely without taking up all of the space inside. So let's uh, let's go ahead and open this up. We have plenty. I can't even get them out because the Velcro, sorry, hook and loop is so good. Ugh. Plenty of nice soft corduroy lined dividers. So there's a, uh, there's going to be a lot of options for organization in here. The whole interior is also corduroy lined and it has the, the loop side, the softer side of the hook and loop is on the inside. So nothing on your camera is going to get scratched. The only thing uh, different really is that the Tenba has a little zipper mesh pocket up here but it does not have these grab handles. Uh, I believe it has a side pouch, but it does not have the grab handles. And honestly, I, I don't really use this for anything. I mean, I think I have some business cards in the one, but you can easily just throw them in any of these pockets. But I never actually just use the camera cube to carry on its own. So I always have my business cards in a business card pocket holder thing in a pocket on my backpack. Now this is the newly redesigned EDC side key. The original one had a uh, hook and loop flap here, and I believe there was a little bit of internal organization on this part, as well as this tech pouch that is corduroy lined. It, um, it only had a half zip to it. I believe it only zipped about that way, which was kind of to help anti-theft, prevent people from unzipping the back end and getting their hand in there. But, uh, one thing I, I wouldn't think of, because I'm not left-handed, but sidebar, Amy is, is that left-handed people actually had a hard time using the bag or have to wear it on their right side because they couldn't get their hand in there. So they went ahead and made this a U-shaped zipper, which again, that same corduroy, very nice. You could throw your, uh, your cell phone in there. I believe you could fit up to a seven inch tablet. And then we also have our main compartment here which if I fold back the storm flap I can easily open is uh that's very spacious and there's two little slit pockets on front and back so you can help organize some stuff in there and this again is one of the coolest bags that I saw I just love little little kit pouches I always seem to carry a big massive backpack why did I flip the storm flap closed I always seem to carry a big massive backpack with me and I always bring too much stuff. Whenever I go into the city, I have a big backpack and especially if it's warm, I get real sweaty and that's just uncomfortable. So uh, something like this is gonna be pretty awesome. I 
just, I just love it. I just love the simplicity to it. It's just so cool. And uh, where's, yes, there is also little D-rings here on either side so you can hook like your keys or something to it without throwing them inside. And the way this should be worn, and there is a nice storm flap here that covers the zipper for the main compartment. You can easily flip it up. Now there's not a storm flap over the tech pouch pocket. And I believe that's by design because if there was a second storm flap here, there'd be too much material and it would just make it really difficult to access the pockets. Now let's move on to the Metromonger. Okay, now we have the Metromonger. And this is essentially a miniature messenger bag, but such a cool miniature messenger bag. And again, they have supplied me with the newer strap that has padding on it with air mesh, but this is a nylon buckle quick release, so you don't have to take it off over your head. And they gave me the original strap, which seems to have a really nice, which is gonna be really hard to do not on the bag or on the body, and really nice one-handed unclasp so you can tighten or loosen the bag, which a combination of this on that strap would be perfect. And it's also, it has a wrap, the Velcro hook and loop, sorry, wrap pad here. So this is the, the padded shoulder strap. The webbing seems to be uh, the same stuff that seat belts are made out of. I know what this material is actually called, but I can't think of it. Both of them are the same. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with uh, the quick release because I really like it. And before you ask, yes, the padding does cover the buckle so this buckle will not dig into you because the padding overlaps it. And to stick on the strap for a minute, we also have our cross strap. So once you put it on the body, it helps keep that bag in place. We do have a rear corduroy lined tech pouch, which definitely be able to fit a 13 inch laptop in there. Not gonna be able to fit my mega Dell, but I don't think you'll be able to fit a 15 inch, but a 13 inch or any kind of tablet or iPad would fit in there perfectly. And we have our main compartment here, which you open this up. We have one big flat pocket on the back. There are two slip pockets on the front here. And doesn't take up all the space. There's still room, and I can still access all of the other pockets. And it will zip perfectly fine. And now if I stick one of the larger kit pouches, it would probably fit, but that would be all that you can stick in this bag. And I can easily access the kit pouch. I can do how I normally do and just leave the top unzipped so I can get in and out. Zip my bag back up. Good to go. We also have a little front pocket here. It's got three little divider pockets in there as well. And we have wide whoop, wide loop, loop. And then a little bit of molly webbing as well as some webbing on the side. Don't worry about the dog hair. That's, uh, that's a hazard with Oliver. Everything's just covered in his fur. Now to put the bag on, just wrap it around you. Clip. Good to go. Now, my first impression of all of these items, everything is top notch. This stuff is extremely high quality. All of the zippers are YKK. All of the buckles, they're all heavy duty nylon. So you don't have to really worry about these breaking. And I like that inside the clip, there's actually a center pillar. So you don't have to worry about this being crushed or collapsing because I've had that happen before where the clip will actually break if you put too much pressure on the top because there's no center pillar and you just literally collapse. You crash it, you crack, you crack it. I can't speak today. But all of the clips, even on the uh, side keep, has the center pillar. Everything, 
all the webbing is heavy duty. It's the same cell, same, same stuff that they use in cars. So if this thing is gonna save your life in a car crash, there's no reason that it's not going to hold your bag to your body without falling apart. And again, these two items right here, I have been so looking forward to getting my hands on. Really, really excited. The quality is just, it's top notch. So if you think that Green Room 136 is a small nobody out of Malaysia, because they're a small company out of Malaysia, you really need to think again. Do not dump all of your money into a big brand just because the name. But just because you're spending $400 on a bag doesn't mean that it's any good. And yeah, I'm sure the quality is top notch, but the quality here is also top notch. So why bother throwing all of your money at a big company when you can get the same quality, if not better, for like a half or a third of the price? This stuff is awesome and they need to be more innovative than a place like Mission Workshop or Chrome Industries or Timbuktu because they need to compete with the big brands. They need to get their name out there. So taking a chance, not even chance, this stuff, you're just buying a good product from a smaller company, you're actually supporting a mom and pop business, which is awesome. And you're you're putting your money into something that's going to actually progress because this bag, this changed because people gave them comments and they listened to their users. So their users told them what they wanted out of their EDC sidekeep and they went ahead and made that. So my first impression is this stuff is great. This is just as good as my 10 Bob BYOB9 that is upstairs. This is just as good as, if not better, than my BO gear bag that I have upstairs, than my Timbuk2 bag that I've had for 20 years, than my Chrome Industries bag that I've had for probably 10 or 15 years. And this, this is reminiscent of my old, super old Chrome hip pouch that uh, I regrettably sold. And now, this is even, it's actually better because this is way more organization and it's a smaller footprint than my Chrome bag, but I've always loved the little hip pouch. Don't call it a fanny pack, it's a hip pouch. I wear it on my hip, not on my fanny. So super stoked, and again, they listened to their customers and built the bag that they wanted. The big brands, they're not gonna do that. Yeah, sure, though, they might reply to your email, but it's, it's gonna be like a standardized reply. You're gonna get an actual email from an actual person if you contact Green Room 136. So, we're gonna go ahead and test out all of this gear for the next month or so. Hopefully, the weather breaks and we don't have a month of being like in the single digits or negatives so we could take a few trips into the city because that's where I believe this kit is going to shine. So, I'm gonna wing to give, go wing to, go wing, Go wing two. Go wing two. Go wing two. Go wing, go wing two. Give this kit a nice and thorough test because I believe the city is where this will shine. So stay tuned for the full review. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video and the review of all of this gear. Good night.